It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. No, actually, it was just 20 years ago, May 1977, the debut of a low-budget space fantasy called Star Wars. No one will stop us this time. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. So it's been 20 years. George Lucas was never happy with his Star Wars creation, so he went back and fixed the things he didn't like and technically brought the original film up to 90 standards. Now the film has great sound and even better special effects to go along with its timeless story. That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. This is unique only because I was sort of pushing the state of the art of technology to make the film in the first place. And, you know, obviously it's all prototypes, so we made a lot of mistakes and we learned a lot of things and some of it didn't come up to quite what we were trying to do and we didn't have much time to do it in. So, um, that doesn't happen very often. You know, where you're actually building, you know, starting a whole new technology and making a movie at the same time. As a result, there were a lot of things that I felt needed to be fixed. The box office speaks for itself. My purchase of this movie many times, I think, speaks for itself. But I read some weird comments about this film, you know, from <laughs> critics over the years. One was the classic. The script could be put on the head of a pen and still have room for the Bible. Where do the people get things? They just don't get it? Is that the... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, Star Wars is not a film that the critics have really been enamored by. And actually, I don't think any of my films have been really popular with critics. Um, and you just sort of live with that part of it. They live in a world where they have a particular idea of the kind of movies they think should be made, and, and uh, the kind of movies I make don't fit in that category. They have a ten tendency toward uh, movies that are based on great literature or great, are plays, and I'm a person that's really interested in, in movies and uh, film as a unique medium unto itself that doesn't have anything to do with you know, recording plays or recording uh, books or something else. Have you always been uh, somewhat amazed, and probably every day cease to be amazed, at the reaction that some people have to the film? It's, you know, have conventions about it, they think about it, they have car tags that, you know, are with it. I mean, it has to, you kind of say sometimes you have to shake your head, don't you? Yeah, you know, it's part of America, right? that's for sure. And, and I guess I uh, got a little into it before because Star Trek had all these conventions and they had fans and everything before we did Star Wars. So I was sort of, you know, you're used to, you know that's going to kind of happen. I didn't expect it to ever happen with Star Wars, but, um, you know, I don't find it too unusual. I'm not afraid. You will be. For me, I got to remake the movie and get it to be finished the way I want, so I'm perfectly happy. But it would be fun to be able to share that intangible part of the experience of seeing it in a large theater with hopefully millions of people. The Force will be with you, always.